Hey all you fine people out there in YouTube land. My name is Greg and welcome to the Soul Star Team channel where we strive to give you the most accurate pick a card readings possible. We give you a new pick a card reading each and every week. Today we're looking at who secretly wants to f you. This is an 18 or over reading, so if you're not 18 yet, or if you're offended by illustrated nudity and sexual talk, kindly turn off this video. You've been warned. This video was inspired by Gracie Gardner from Gracie's Tarot Garden. She has great readings, and this reading was inspired by her. You can find a link to her channel in the description below. Okay, now just a little bit of a warning here. In group one, my microphone went out. I had to get a new one. So I had to use my phone as a microphone. So the sound quality, you can understand it no problem. It's just a little different. And then in group two, just a warning that that turned out to be a little negative. So if you don't want any negativity, don't watch group two. But if you're drawn to it, it does have good information. We have four groups for you today. We have the little girl, the boy, the woman, and the frog. I had to throw something in there to keep you hopping. <laughs> Get it? Keep you hopping. Bad joke. Okay, clear your mind and see which group resonates with you. Once you've chosen a group, just fast forward to the timestamp, which is below each of the groups or in the comments and description below. If you're ready, let's go find out who wants to find you. Okay, hello group one. Today we're looking at who secretly wants to f you. Or who wants to have sex with you. Make sure you stay to the end because we're going to pull some letters and see if those letters give us a better idea as to who this person is. Let's see how it goes here. First we're going to take three tarot cards. The first card we get is the Nine of Cups, then the World, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so we're looking at this to try to figure out who this person is and what do they want. I mean, what do they want to do with you, right? What are their fantasies about you? The first thing I get with the Nine of Cups is they, they plot in their head ways to get you in bed. They feel very emotional about you. I'm getting that they think that they love you but they haven't said anything to you yet. Hey, this person is very cheerful. I don't know if they're outgoing, but they're very upbeat and cheerful, sweet, very positive. They always seem to be having a good time. Whenever you see them, they're probably going to give you a smile. I know this sounds a little creepy, but trust me, this person really isn't creepy. Okay, they fantasize about you a lot. When you talk to them, they can't believe that they're talking to you. And their mind always wanders off into these fantasies about you. They think that you're out of their league. And so they don't think that their fantasies will ever come true. But just know that you really drive them wild. Every time they talk to you or see you, something stirs within them. <laughs> they get going. They get hot. What can I say? They just are turned on by you. Just the sight of you is enough to turn them on. But talking to you is almost more than they can stand. So they may seem a little shy, a little, a little quiet, yet they always have good things to say. I get that you like them, but they're not aware, or you're not aware, that you may like them more than just friends, or you've never given that a thought. Then we go to the world. With the world, I'm getting that 
their fantasies include things like public sex, like they think about dancing with you at a club and then taking you into a restroom or at a restaurant that they want to sit real close to you and fondle you while they're eating or while you're at the restaurant. Those kind of things. That's what they think about. They also think about camping with you and being in the outdoors, especially the beach of getting, they fantasize about you and them on the beach having sex. They think about having sex with you in the car. But mostly what I'm getting is that they just want to please you. If they were ever to be in bed with you, they would just want to please you. And that would be enough for them. I'm also getting that they're pretty opposite of you. If you're outgoing, they're quiet. If you're quiet, they may be a little more outgoing. If you're thin, they may be a little heavy. If you're a little heavy, they may be a little thin. You're just kind of opposites. Yet there's an attraction there that if you gave it a chance, there'd be a real attraction there. It's kind of like magnets, positive and negatives attract each other. And when you go to the same pole, they repel each other. But you two, because you're opposites, you attract each other. Then we go to the Ten of Cups. And what I'm getting with the Ten of Cups is that sex with them would be good. Be very good. You would be sexually satisfied with this person. You would have orgasms with this person. Okay? But they want more than sex. They want romance. They have been trying to flirt with you, but you don't really know it because they're not very good at it. But they keep trying to flirt with you, just smiling at you or saying hi. They think they're flirting. But just know that your emotional needs and your sexual, physical needs would be met with this person. But they fantasize about you sexually, but not just sexually. They fantasize about you having a family and living together and being married. In fact, they run through their head, your wedding. They have planned your wedding day already. Just know that they are a caring and compassionate person. They have a feminine energy to them. And so if you're looking for a man, it doesn't mean that they're not masculine. It's just that they are compassionate and caring and loving and outwardly so. I'm also getting that they're a very good listener, which is more of the feminine energy. But that doesn't mean that they're not masculine if you're looking for a man. Okay, and what I'm getting with these three cards is cups, right? We get one major card and then two cups, which I think is important because cups is about emotions. Emotions like love and caring, compassion. It's also about water and summer. And so the, the signs that are connected to cups are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So this person's probably one of those three. Okay, then we're going to go to another deck. And we get Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and Knight of Chalices. All right, right off with the Two of Swords, I get that they don't see themselves as sexy. And that they really are holding back. They're holding back what they feel. They're not very self-confident when it comes to romance, when it comes to romantic matters, right? They are just a little backward in some of their social interactions. Look, they're a great person. And once you get to know them, the social hangups just go away. I'm just getting this shyness or lack of confidence in approaching people. And I'm getting that most of you work with them or that you met them or will meet them at work. Let's go to the Knight of Pentacles. Your passion for this person is buried, but it could be very passionate. You could feel a lot of passion for this person if you do about their crush on you. But because you don't know, you've never really thought about it. I think some of you might have fantasized about them too, or at least thought about them in a sexual way. But for most of you, you really haven't. 
But maybe you had a dream about them once. Or maybe it was a sex dream. Because I think there's some buried feelings there inside of you that if they were to come out, you could have a very good life with this person. Not just a sexual life, but a lot of emotional intimacy as well. Both emotional and physical intimacy. And that sex with this person would be very passionate. Let's go to the Knight of Chalices. Chalices is also cups. So it's the Knight of Cups. Their positivity is contagious. You can't help but smile when this person's around. They always have positive things to say. They're just a very positive, caring person. And that really comes out in them. And I think you know that about them. I'm getting that falling in love with them is a definite possibility for you. So just know that you could love this person and the romance and love could be really, really good. Now let's go to another deck. And this one I want to pull to see what it is they fantasize about with you. Although we already know that they like to do it outside the bedroom. But let's see what else we get. Okay, with the sexual magic deck, they have good pictures. So I'm going to look at the pictures and see what I get from them. So first we get the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is about excitement and passion and flirtation and attraction. But when I look at the picture, what I get is that this person wants to spoon with you. Right, that's what the picture kind of shows. And that they like to take you from behind. So things like doggy style or entering you from a spoon position. Or if you're the man, you entering them from a spooning position, okay? Yeah, they like things from behind. I'm also getting that they like to sneak up behind you and maybe startle you for some reason. Then we go to the Three of Cups. And I'm getting that same energy that they like to sneak up behind you and grab your chest. They like to fondle your chest. And this card is also about friendship turning into love and about romance turning into sex. This is the energy that I've been getting and I get it with this card. And that's, I think you have or will have a friendship with this person. And if you let it, it will turn into love. And then you get romance, and romance can turn into sex. And all of this can be really good sex and be a really strong love. Okay, now we're going to pull a couple of cards from the Romance Angels deck. And we get true love, passion, and a third one came out, give your relationship a chance. Again, right along with what I've been feeling, true love says this is a romance of a lifetime. Yeah, I mean, this really could be the romance of a lifetime, the one that you've been waiting for. This could be the partner that you've been trying to manifest. Okay, but you just don't know it yet. Or you haven't thought about this person in that way. And then passion. Yeah, we got passion earlier. But the Passion card says, allow your heart and soul to sing with you. And really what I'm getting from that is allow your heart and soul to have passion, to open up the passion within you. Let it go. And you can let it go with this person. Then we get, give your relationship a chance. And that says, work on your partnership. Yeah, I'm getting meeting at work again with this card. That somehow you know this person from work or you will meet them at work. This could turn into something really, really special if you let it. But this person doesn't come off as the person that you would normally think you'd want to be with. But if you gave them a chance, you'd be amazed at how well the two of you get along and how well the two of you connect together. Yeah, I see a lot of passion and a lot of sex. And again, I, I feel this cups energy. We get, we get more cups than any other suit. 
And we're getting the energy of cups more than any other energy because it's the energy of emotions and of intimacy. And so look for somebody with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces sign. And somewhere water and summer will have something to do with this as well. Okay, let's see if we can figure out who this person is. See who wants to have sex with you by picking some letters. Okay, we got R, a D, an N, U, T, R, two R's, two U's, and an A. So two R's, two U's, a D, an N, a T, an E, and an A. I get Terrence, I get Darren, Robert, Tom, Thomas, red. There's a red, there may be something about the color red or maybe a nickname of red. Tanner, for girls' names I get Tina, Rachel, Debbie, Okay, that's about all I'm getting right now. If you see any different letter combinations or if a name comes to you, please be sure to leave a message down in the comments because you never know who that might affect. We're all a little bit psychic, okay? Everybody is. You are. I am. Everybody's psychic. And so if something comes to you, please leave it in the comments so that it helps somebody out there. If this has been of help to you, please give us a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're notified each and every time we upload a new reading. Till next time, may your life always be full of love. Hello, group two. We're looking at who secretly wants to have sex with you. Who wants to fuck you? Okay, make sure you stay to the end. We're going to pick some letters to kind of figure out who this person may be. Maybe we'll figure out their name. So make sure you stay to the end of the reading. So let's get going. Let's start with some tarot cards. We're going to deal out three here. And the cards we get are the Two of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay, so the Two of Cups. This person thinks that they are going to have a relationship with you. That's part of the fantasy of this person. They actually think they're going to have a relationship with you. They may have feelings for you, but those feelings are not founded in any kind of reality. This is not somebody who you should have a relationship with. They assume that you like the same things in the bedroom as they do, and that you like what they like, and you're going to comply with whatever sexual fantasy they have. But again, I'm getting this. This isn't somebody you should have a relationship with, other than a casual acquaintance. All right, let's go to the Knight of Pentacles. And what I'm getting here is that your life has become very complicated, maybe overly complicated. Let me tell you that getting involved with this person would make things worse. This is not somebody you need to have a relationship with. This person is hiding their passion for you because it's really just all in their head, and they kind of know that. But deep down, they think that somehow they're going to have a relationship with you. Okay, let's go to the hermit. So with the hermit, what I get is that this is about a secret lover. You are their secret lover. They are using you as fantasy 
and for masturbation purposes. They are alone a lot. They're kind of a loner. That's, you know, sort of what the hermit is or can represent. And I'm getting that you may work with them or you might have worked with them or you will work with them. They see themselves as being in a dark place and that you are a lantern, a light for them that helps to part their darkness. You are a bright spot in their life because you've been nice to them, but you're nice to a lot of people. You're not, and you don't think anything of it. That's just the way you are. You're nice. They see it as something else. Okay, we're going to go to another deck here, and we get the Eight of Swords, the Knave of Pentacles, and the Stars. Okay, looking at the Eight of Swords, trying to figure out more about this person, who they may be, see if we can figure that out here. Okay, with the Eight of Swords, what I'm getting is they need to see the truth that you're not into them. I'm being told that you need to keep things light with this person. And this person, they're socially awkward. So if there's a socially awkward person in your life, in your work life, just make sure that you keep things light around them. And I think you're going to know this person because they seem to light up when they're around you. They may seem to stare at you sometimes. So that's probably this person. Just keep things light with them. Don't be too familiar. Okay, don't try to have any kind of friendship relationship. Just keep them as an acquaintance. But be supportive. You know, don't do anything to hurt them and don't do anything to lead them on. Just keep it casual. Keep it as a colleague, acquaintance relationship. Yeah, I'm getting that they need to really get real, that this is never going to happen. Because in their mind, they still think that someday you're going to have a relationship with them. But you need to let them know that that's not in the cards. That's not what you're thinking if they get too close or if you're starting to feel uncomfortable. They may need some kind of professional help. They're alone too much. That's what I'm hearing. They're just alone. But don't worry. They're not dangerous. They're not that kind of a person. They're just a loner. We go to the Knave of Pentacles. What I'm feeling here is that this person would be bad for you and you would be bad for them. So even if you think that they're kind of cute or you think, well, they'd be easy to get, so why not? It might be fun. Don't. Don't get desperate enough that you're going to give in to this person. Just don't. And I'm also getting that for some of you, this could be a neighbor or like somebody who lives in your apartment building or lives in your neighborhood who sees you a lot, but just is very casual. You may not even be on a hi, how are you basis. Okay. That's for some of you. But yeah, just don't give in to anything this person wants. If they want to take you out for lunch or buy you coffee or something, don't, don't give in to it. Just say, no, no, that's okay. You know. Come up with a good excuse, but just don't give in to them. I'm also getting that there is somebody special in store for you. But this person just isn't that person, okay? So in group one, this was somebody who would be good for them. But in this reading, this is about somebody who just strictly has fantasies about you. Then we go to the stars. And again, I'm getting that they have lots of fantasies. And... You're not the only one that they have fantasies about, but they do see you as a special person. They have some voyeuristic fantasies about you. That's what I'm getting. Like they want to watch you. They want to watch you where they they think of you undressing. They think of you in the shower. They think of you masturbating. Those are the kind of things they think about a lot. We're going to go to the sexual magic deck and we'll see if we can't get more information about this person and about the fantasies that they're having. Okay, first card we get is the devil. 
then the Queen of Wands, then the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the Devil card. If this person is a man, they are well endowed. You know, look at the devil holding a phallic symbol. I guess the best way to put that. But with the devil in general, this would be a very unhealthy relationship. So again, don't give in to them. Don't give in to the temptation if you're tempted by them at all. And then we go to the queen of wands. They have fantasies about watching you. Again, this voyeurism thing. They want to watch you undress. They want to see you naked. They want to like peep through your window and watch you. That's their fantasy. And I don't think that they would ever do that, but that's their fantasy. Uh, they also have some fantasies about handcuffs. There's some handcuffs in this picture. And I'm getting that, yeah, there is some domination. And you get that a little bit with the devil card. There's some domination. But again, my spirit guides are saying they're not dangerous and they don't mean to harm you and they're not going to become dangerous. It's not that kind of person. They are well grounded in reality, but they have a rich fantasy life and they spend way too much time alone. Then we get the Knight of Swords. And this is about domination. And you look at the picture and there's hair pulling and there's whips. That's some of their fantasies. They have fantasies about dominating you. And again, you're not the only person they have fantasies about, but you are one of them. And they have, they do see you as being submissive and them dominant. And they see themselves as a great lover. And maybe they are, but you don't want to find out. Okay, then we go to the Romance Angels deck. And I get two cards, and those cards are unrequited love and worth waiting for. Yeah, see, the unrequited love says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, see, this is just not meant to be a relationship. This is just somebody who wants to f*** you, okay? That's just their fantasy. Has no basis in reality whatsoever. Then we get worth waiting for, and that card says... Divine timing is at work in your love life. Your real love is worth waiting for. This is not it. So again, even if you find them attractive or cute, you just know that they'd be easy. Just don't get involved. Don't do it. Okay, let's draw some letters here. Okay, the letters we have here are E. We've got two E's here. And F, H, N, I, and C. Okay, I'm getting Edward. The E's are there, and I'm getting Hans. Don't know why. That's just what came with the H. Okay, and I'm getting Nancy. I'm getting a Nancy. Let me know in the comments if you see any letter combinations or if a letter or if a name came to mind for you. Sometimes this is really easy, sometimes it's not. I didn't get a lot here. Cindy, I'm getting a Cindy. So you guys out there, there's a couple of female names, a couple of male names. If you enjoyed this video, if it was of any help to you at all, please give us a like. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future pick-a-card readings. Till next time, may your life always be full of love. beautiful people of group three we're talking about who secretly wants to f you or who secretly wants to have sex with you same thing and i want to tell this group okay when i was shuffling cards before i looked at any of the cards i got this distinct message from my guides that 
for most of you, this is an X. Okay, and I want to say one more thing about that. It may be an X from your past. It may be something somebody you knew from your past, but it also could mean that you're going to meet this person and break up at some point and then get back together. Okay, so I may talk about this person has an X from your past, but it may be an X from your future. So just remember that, okay? Make sure you stay all the way to the end of the reading. At the end of the reading, I want to pick some letters to see if we can't figure out who this is. Okay, now let's start with some tarot cards and we get the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. With the Six of Cups, I get that this person has a lot of very warm feelings for you. They want to give you a wonderful life. They're looking for love and they see you as a good prospect, the perfect prospect. And you're the only prospect, okay? They believe the two of you will be together forever. That's what they think. With the Six of Cups right away, I also got, yeah, this is somebody from your past or your future past. So be open to somebody who you may have broken up with, but who could have been pretty good, you thought. If they're having lots of fantasies about you. Some of them are very unrealistic. They know they're probably never going to happen. I'm getting that they may want a threesome or something that is kind of out there that you wouldn't be into. And they know that, but they still can't help but fantasize about it. They have never felt sexually the way they feel about you. They've never felt this with anybody else. I'm getting that sexuality is really important to this person. Sex is a big part of their life. Seven of Wands. The two of you are going to be great together or can be great together. Now, I, I know that for a lot of you, you broke up with this person or they broke up with you, but they know that they can make the changes needed to make the relationship work. So they see a life with you, but I don't think you see it yet. And you've never really thought about a long-term life with this person. They're sad. They're sad because they thought they had a chance with you and they blew it. They didn't treat you like they knew you deserved. And they're currently having a lot of sex dreams about you. Yes, they're having sex dreams about you all the time. Okay, so be open to an ex that didn't treat you that great. They may have changed. Now let's go to the Seven of Swords. And I'm getting that they live alone and they hate it. They want to share their life and their bed with someone. And that someone they want to share with is you. They're really holding back right now. They're waiting for you to give them a sign, like a text or a phone call or something that gives them hope that you two could get together again. Or they're waiting for, for a sign from the heavens or from the spirit. They're waiting for something to tell them now's the time to approach you again or to get back together with you. Okay, let's go to another deck. We get the Ten of Chalices or Cups. The Queen of Swords, and Seven of Wands. Okay, the Ten of Chalices. Okay, so this is the person you're supposed to marry. Spirit is making that very clear to me. You're supposed to marry this person because you're soulmates. You don't see it. You didn't see it, and you don't see it yet. Especially if you went out with them before you really couldn't see a life with them. You didn't understand them at all. And that's partly your problem and partly theirs, okay? There's lots of blame to go around why it didn't work out. But the divine timing just wasn't right. 
and your soulmates. And they know sex with you was or will be better than with anybody else. They know that they're going to have their best sex with you. You are their ideal person. They want to make changes in their life to be worthy of you. And they are making changes in their life to be worthy of you. They want more than sex with you. They want a life. They want to be married to you. We look at the Queen of Swords. And I get that they don't take life too seriously. And I think that may be part of the reason why you guys broke up is they seem to be a little flaky. They feel like you want a perfect person and they're not that perfect. They know they're not. And they feel like you deserve a perfect person, but they're not perfect. They see sex as fun with you. Okay, they smile. I'm seeing a smiling face. They smile when they think about sex with you. It makes them happy. They get giddy when they think about having sex with you, right? They just, they become like a little kid. They just, they're just so happy. And they're so happy because they're, they're starting to have these really deep feelings for you. There was a breakup involved. Again, some of you, there will be a breakup involved. And I think there may be a breakup that will have to happen for the two of you to get together. So either you're going to be in a relationship or they are or something when it's time to get back together, when there's divine timing for all of this. So one of you may have to break up with somebody. And then we get the seven of wands again. This is really about the two of you being together and the spirit guides are really pushing for that. They're telling me over and over again, the two of you need to be together. Okay, in the first group and second group, first group, this was somebody that would be really good, but I'm not sure it was a soulmate. The second one was definitely nobody they wanted to marry, but this one, this group, group three, is soulmate. This is somebody you're really supposed to be with, and that's why we got the seven of wands twice, is spirit is trying to get to me that Yes, you're supposed to be married to this person. You're supposed to get together. And sex is going to be great. Your person knows that. And in time, you'll know that. You know, they already know that you're the right person. But it's going to take longer for you to figure that out. To figure out that you're really meant to be together. All right, let's see if we can figure out some of the more of the sexual fantasies that they have about you. And we're going to take some more tarot cards here. And we get the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Chariot. With these, we're going to look at the pictures. Sometimes the pictures can be more descriptive than the meanings of the cards. And that's the case with these cards. So looking at the Queen of Pentacles, you look at this and immediately I get that they might have a foot fetish or they think your feet are beautiful. Not that they worship your feet or anything like that, but they think you have beautiful feet. But for some of them, it's a foot fetish. They really find uh, feet sexual. Then we go to the Ace of Swords. They want to be dominated. Okay. They want you to dominate them. If you're looking for a man, just know that they're well endowed. That's what the Ace of Swords usually means. It's very phallic. Then we look at the chariot. Looking at this, I feel that they like to have sex in the morning. They like morning sex. They like to get up, get showered, and have sex. And then shower again. Or they just like to roll over and just start kissing you and then having sex right there and right then. I'm also getting that they might like to take lunch breaks and have a quickie with you. Or they like, you know, some afternoon delight. Like on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, they'll just feel in the mood and do it. They want to do it. Now let's take a look at a couple of Romance Angels cards. And the cards we get are let go of control issues and wedding. 
So lack of control issues says, allow this situation to unfold naturally. They want to be with you. And deep down, you want to be with them. But you're really not sure who this really is. We get a lot of clues here, but you may not be sure who this really is. Let things happen naturally. Because your spirit guides are trying to push you two together. So it's going to kind of happen naturally. What I'm getting is that when you're in the relationship, don't try to control this person. That will push them away. Even though they love you deeply, they're a free soul. I'm getting that they're very open-minded. They're not your normal person. They're very free then the next card we get is wedding, you know, and again, this is the message that your spirit guides are trying to get to you is that this is the person you're supposed to marry. They're fantasizing about you. They want to have sex with you, but they want to be married to you. That's the whole message that spirit is trying to convey to you. This is the person you're supposed to marry. This is your soulmate. Let's pick some letters and see if this helps us figure out who wants to f*** you. Okay, we get a C, an E, a W, and a W. Two A's and an O. William. I'm hearing William. Edward. Sounds like very British names. Cam. Orson. Aaron. Okay, those are the names that I'm getting. If you're looking for a female... Let's see, I'm getting Ashley, Allie, Alan. I just got Alan. Please let me know if you see any combinations with these letters for a name, or if any name comes to you, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future pick a card readings. Till next time, may your life always be full of love. Hey, group four, we're going to talk about who secretly wants to f*** you. Make sure that you stay to the end of this reading. At the end, we're going to pull some letters, and hopefully those letters give you a better idea of who this person actually is. Okay, we're going to start with some tarot cards, and we get the Devil, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, when we look at the Devil card, what I'm getting from my guides is that this is someone who you thought wouldn't be good for you. So it's somebody from your past, most likely. And somebody who you thought about dating, or maybe you did date, and you thought, wow, this person probably wouldn't be good for me. And it may be because all you think about is sex with this person. Or that's all you think that they thought about with sex, which probably isn't true. They're better for you than you think. They could be very good for you, especially in bed. They could be really good for you in bed, okay? They have a lot of very sexy thoughts about you. They fantasize about you. They dream about you. For some reason, they can't get you out of their head. Then we go to the Six of Pentacles. They're a giver in bed. 
they want to make sure that you're satisfied, that you have an orgasm. They have thought about a lot of things that they'd like to do with you sexually. But what I'm hearing is that with this person, you would have great sex. This is amazing sex. This is not just, it's not just sex. With this person, it is good sex, great sex. It's making love because they are very giving. They are a giver. Then we go to the Knight of Wands. There's a psychic connection between the two of you. And you sometimes feel it. I think when you were around this person, or when you will be around this person, whoever it may be, you feel that connection pulling you two together. There is some kind of magnetic connection with the two of you. And I think that you think about this person too, that you have fantasized about this person. But you don't think about them nearly as much as they think about you. And again, I'm being told this could be an ex or someone who you thought about dating. And there is this energy. I keep feeling this energy pulling me towards something. And I think it's the two of you being pulled together. Just a second, I'm listening. Yeah, okay, that... That makes sense. Okay, so what I've just been told is that this is someone who your spirit guides would like to see you marry or be with. There is a spiritual connection between the two of you. And maybe you felt it. And it's kind of a fleeting thing. You felt it a little bit, but then it went away. Well, that was your spirit guides trying to get through to you that this person would be good for you, that this person could be a soulmate for you. I'm also being told that the two of you have never had sex, okay, at least with each other. You feel this sexual connection, this thing pulling you together, or they have felt that, or both of you have felt it, but you've never actually had sex with them. But they wish they had sex with you, of course, because they fantasize about you. They think about you. They think about you sexually a lot. Let's go to another deck and we'll pick some cards. Cards we get are the stars, the moon, and the sun. Wow, that is really interesting. You don't get three major cards that often. I don't know if that means anything, but let's go through them. So the stars. Yeah, they have a lot of dreams and fantasies about you. Their current fantasy is about walking in on you while you're playing with yourself, while you're masturbating. And then they pull off their clothes and they start to help you. Okay. They really want more than just sex with you. They want a real relationship because they have some deep feelings for you that they have never really expressed, but they do think about you and they think about more than just sex. They think about a life with you. Then we go to the moon. What I'm getting here is tantric sex. So very slow, sensual, relaxing foreplay. A lot of massaging, touching. That's what they fantasize about. Yeah, I'm getting, I've heard this before somewhere, but I don't know where I got it. Temp tease, please. That's the way they are. They want to tempt and tease and please you. It's a very slow energy. So they take their time. Yeah, again, I'm being told this is an ex. Or for some of you, it's just somebody who you thought about dating or you thought would be nice to date. And then we go to the sun. And okay, the sun, this would be a fantastic lover. Your sex life with this person would be amazing. And they think that you would be an amazing lover. And they are an amazing lover. Again, this very giving spirit. The sun is shining on you. So, so it's a very positive, uplifting kind of a thing. And 
and it's interesting that these major tarot cards all have astrological meaning, right? It's the sun, the moon, the stars, it's the heavens, right? So this is really something that is spiritual and will lift you out of where you are and bring you to another place, another place sexually, another place lovingly, another place in a relationship like you've never had before. Now let's go to another deck. This is the sexual magic deck. And the pictures give me an idea of how they would like to have sex with you. We get death. Knight of Pentacles. And Ten of Wands. Okay, the death card. All right, just looking at the picture, what I see, I see the belt. And the belt has things hanging from it. And what I get there is sex toys. That's what it reminds me of. So this person likes to play with sex toys. They like to make that part of their sexual experience. I'm hearing the song right now. I just died in your arms tonight by the cutting crew. That just popped into my head. So they feel like they could die in your arms or they could stay in your arms their whole life. See, when you look at this card in the background, there are two people embracing each other. And that's the way they feel is that they could just stay in your arms forever. Then let's go to the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow energy. So again, I'm getting this very slow energy. A lot of foreplay, a lot of slow foreplay, lots of massaging and touching. And they understand that it takes a long time to really make love, not just have sex. Sex is just very mechanical, but that's not the way they feel. They feel making love because they're a very giving person and they want to give you the best sex of your life. And they want to give you the best life. In looking at this, I'm also getting that lingerie is a big part of their fantasies. If, if you look at the woman in this picture, she's wearing stockings. So when I see that, to me, I get lingerie. So something about lingerie, they love lingerie. I'm being told this is a very giving person, very unselfish lover. And there's a lemon in this picture. The knight is handing a lemon to this woman. And so for some reason, lemons are important. Maybe it's their favorite fruit. Maybe they like lemonade. I don't know. They just put lemons in everything. I don't know. Something about lemons with this person. Now let's look at the Ten of Wands. They imagine walking into your house, your apartment, your place that you live and just ripping off your clothes and doing it right there and then. They fantasize about standing sex. From this card, I just get this energy of passion, real passion and heat and sexual energy. Now let's go to the Romance Angels and take a couple of cards. And the cards we get are Trust, and passion. The trust card says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. I think that your spirit guides are trying to put you two together, that you could be soulmates. And I think for most of you, this is a soulmate. Even though you've never seen that before in them, or if you meet them in the future at first, you won't see that in them. It's something that develops over time. So this situation is calling for you to have faith, to have trust in your guides, to have trust in the universe that they know best for you. So trust. And, and I'm also getting that you need to trust this person when you get together because they're very sexually experimental. They like to try lots of things and you just need to trust them and try those things with them. Again, I'm hearing tantric sex. If you don't know what tantric sex is, go look it up. 
it's not something that I've ever experienced, but I know what it is. <laughs> okay, that's why my spirit guides are bringing it up to me. But there's something about that, okay? And then we go to passion. The passion card says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, see, this is a very passionate relationship that the two of you could have, but it's also a very joyful, a very happy relationship. So, you know, allow your soul to sing with joy. That's the way you're going to feel with this person when you really give them a chance and trust the universe and trust your guides and trust them. You're going to get this true passion and a passion for life, a passion for sex, a passion for each other. Okay, let's go ahead and pick some letters and see if that's helpful. Let's see if it helps us to figure out who this person is. Try to find out who really wants to f*** you. Okay, we got two V's. There's an I, A, U, an S, a B, an R, and a D. Yeah, I can spell out Brad, Stephen or Steve, or Steph, Stefan, Victor, Madison. I, there's no letters here for that, but out of the blue. He came into my head as Madison, okay? Randy, Randall. All right, that's about all I'm getting now, but yeah, Brad or Bradley, that sticks out pretty much a lot. And for women's name, there was Madison. Madison could be either Sabrina. I just got Sanjay. That's a, a guy's name. Brooke Bree. Just got Andrew. Okay, if you can see any different combinations here for names, or if a name comes to you, please let me know down in the comments. I'm not really very good at putting letters together. That's not the way my brain works. So you guys are probably better at it. So I'd appreciate it if you would leave your suggestions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this reading, if it was helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified each and every time we do a new video. Till next time, may your life always be full of love.